Hello, YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Two Point Hospital Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. So today I've got something a little bit different for you. I've got not a room build, uh, but sort of an entire hospital wing build. Also, we're going to be breaking a couple of rules to pull this build off. Now, this is, uh, we're currently here in Grockle Bay. Um, just, you know, uh, we've three-starred the hospital, but just wanted to show it off to you in a more advanced form here. This is kind of more standard to what I would do. We've got, you know, the, the same brand of food and drink machines uh, copied across the same thing, so people don't get distracted by too many choices. We've got no none of those you know, benches gumming up the works here, and just a good amount of stuff here, plenty of other stuff, following my old rules. However, our surgery rooms are a completely different matter. So today's build is what I call the Surgical Center. We have dedicated an entire wing to, um, uh, of our hospital to surgery, and we're doing this for a number of different reasons, and I've tested this out. First off, you, the first thing you'll notice here is, yes, benches. I am actually utilizing benches. Um, there's a couple of reasons for this. Uh, contrary to my previous statements that uh, benches are completely useless, that that is not correct, actually. They, they do actually have an in-game effect. That in-game effect is just not very well advertised, hence my original uh, incorrect statement. Uh, what they do is people sitting on a bench will have all of their different needs decay slower. Slightly slower. It's not super dramatic. Um, that means their hunger, their thirst, their bathroom needs... Uh, entertainment needs, and more importantly, most importantly, their health. You see, with surgery, um, surgery is is probably the one part of your hospital where um, a decaying health is going to be a problem for you. Surgical illnesses are notoriously difficult to diagnose sometimes, so your, your uh, patients can sometimes spend a lot of time in the diagnosis process before they even make it to the surgical wing. Not to mention, surgery itself is the uh, one treatment room that has the absolute longest um, uh, animation. So lines and cues for your surgical rooms tend to be long, so waits for them can be very long as well. That can take a toll on your uh, on your uh, uh, the health of your patients. Um, so the surgical center hopes to remedy that in a number of different ways. First off, by um, by having the surgical center in its own building, the only people that are actually going to be utilizing benches are going to be the surgery patients. I've tested and observed this. A person, say, waiting for, you know, the, the uh, reception desk here or the GP's office is not going to suddenly decide, oh, OK, I have to wait in line. I'm going to run all the way over here and uh, sit down on a bench. The, the, the fact that these are significantly farther away from the rest of your hospital is what is seems to keep people away from uh you know using the benches in a way that you don't want them to furthermore um i am also utilizing a slightly different brand makeup for my vending machines here most importantly the laxative drink machine if there are any patients in your hospital that need the health boost from uh swill here it's your surgery patients um, so I have, uh, I've stocked this particular wing with the, uh, laxative machine and then the, uh, spongy cake balls to try and combat the bathroom, uh, uh, uh negative uh, side from that classic combination. Now, um, even with this absorbent and snack machine, you're going to have people that need to utilize the, uh, the bathroom a lot more. So in this wing, in addition to, um, uh, so we've got ourselves a bathroom, but not just any bathroom. We have a maternity ward, the larger form of the two bathroom builds that I've suggested in the past. Uh, we definitely want the higher capacity uh, bathroom in here, even higher than you might think um, uh, that might be needed for the number of people going through here, just because the people that are here are more likely to need to use the bathroom. So you want to make sure there are plenty of stalls. Uh, for everybody to, to use, and also plenty of janitors to keep those uh, stalls clean. Uh, the other non-surgery surgery room we want in this wing is a uh, staff room. Uh, because breaks are very important for your surgical staff, uh, because the surgery itself is a very draining uh, activity for them, that you'll want to make sure that this building has its own uh, break room in it. 
Um, but that is is uh, the the long and the short of it. By keeping all of your surgery uh, centers uh, in its own building, you can safely utilize um, different brands of things. You can safely u- utilize different. Uh, you can safely utilize benches, um, and because the throughput is uh, not so fast, the fact that somebody has to get up from a bench to go to their surgical appointment, in the grand scheme of things, based on how long things take anyway. It's actually not that bad. Um, it doesn't add that much more time to your surgery queues. Um, compare that to, say, having benches outside a GP's office and dealing with the volume of people that go through the GP's office. Um, so that is why I recommend dedicating a whole other building to just surgery. Nothing else but surgery besides a bathroom, a staff room, and maybe a gift center to keep people entertained. Um so, um, also one last thing, if your hospital is still young, obviously you don't need to build four different things. And also because um, different uh, hospital wings, the shapes of them vary based on what level you're playing. Obviously, if you're playing not on Grockle Bay, then your, um, your, your, your uh, surgery center is going to have a very different layout. But these are the items that you want to include on it. You know, the, the, the break room, the bathrooms, and fill the rest of the usable space with surg- surgery centers. Um, yeah, I was running a surgery campaign just to get more warm bodies flowing through here. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.